acting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at Sham Amid and welcome to my YouTube channel, Computer Tech Zone, for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about microwave and infrared transmission. Microwave and infrared transmission or signals is an example of, you can say that, uh, unguided transmission media. In the unguided transmission media, uh, communication devices communicate with each other uh, through air or space by, you know, transmitting or uh, broadcasting radio signals, microwave signals and infrared uh, signals. So, among them, uh, we are discussing today microwave and infrared transmission. So, let's start and discuss our topic further in detail. So, first of all, we have is a microwave transmission. So what actually is a microwave signals? If someone asks you that what is a microwave signal, you can simply answer that the signal having a frequency range of 1 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz is called microwave signal and its direction is always uni direction. It is a unidirection, it is a direction is always a one way. Uh, direction so here the how we can transmit data uh, between how we can transmit data uh, microwave data so for transmitting uh, microwave data we will use stations which is called microwave stations and each of the micro microwave station have antenna uh, or transceiver transmitter and receiver and other equipment that is required for communication purposes so for transmitting microwave signals we usually have microwave station suppose that this is here this is station a this is station b so if i want to transmit data from station here a to station b then this is a sender this is a receiver so what will happen that the microwave signal will travel in a straight line in the line of the sight and it will always be one directional so this is what i've said before that it uses line of sight communication line of sight means you're directly uh, in the straight path right in the direction of your eye in straight path that means the signals cannot bend this is very very important information that microwave signals signals always travel in a straight line it is always travel uh, you know it is in the same direction and it cannot bend so how much distance uh, you know minimum distance must be uh, optimal distance must be required between each station so the answer is 20 to 30 miles suppose that here is the station a here is a station b and here is a station c what will happen the station A will send data to station B. A is a sender, B is a receiver. It will travel in a straight line. Signals will never bend and it will move in a same direction. Here, in station B, now it wants to send data to the station C. Now, B is a sender and C is a receiver. So, here also signals will move in a straight line and in the same direction so the, the distance between station a and station b or station b to station c must be of 20 to 30 miles so what are the advantages of microwave microwave transmission is very very cheaper and uh, you know it is best suitable for uh, terrains especially um, where the installation of the cable is very very difficult so for terrains uh, it is uh, microwave uh, transmission is quite recommended and especially uh, you know over the oceans the communication is done uh, through microwaves so microwaves um, communication over the ocean uh, is usually done uh, through microwave signals so this is a very very important information um, that I've shared with you so apart from few um, advantages we have some disadvantages as well 
A microwave transmission is susceptible to the weather condition. That means if there is a strong wind, if there is a snowfall, if there is a you know heavy rainfall, then a microwave signals may be distorted. So this is one of the uh, you know major disadvantages of microwave signals that it is susceptible to the weather condition. Um, so, you know, a, the fast rain or or, or, or a fast moving wind or uh, you know the, the you know the snowfall it, it, it distort the signals. So the next one we have is um, you know another disadvantage is that here the bandwidth allocation is uh, limited. So you will have to uh, fix the allocation and bandwidth allocation at a, at the start and uh, so you cannot uh, you know uh, you cannot use uh, more bandwidth or or bandwidth of your own choice so you are you will always have a limited bandwidth so this is one of the uh, disadvantages of uh, you know the microwave uh, communication so next one we have is infrared waves infrared waves is uh, also on the type of unguided uh, transmission media uh, before going discussing infrared uh, waves if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel you can subscribe it and if you still you know have not click the bell icon so click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos so what actually is uh, infrared waves and um, infrared waves like said before that it is uh, you know one of the types of uh, unguided transmission media so unguided transmission media you you, you better know that it is um, you know here to this media the communication devices communicate through air and uh, or space by uh, sending these uh, microwaves infrared or radio signals so it is the best recommended for you know the short uh, short range communication so if someone asked you that which of the unguided uh, transmission media is best for um, short distance communication you must on you must answer that it is uh, none other than um, infrared waves so infrared technology is best recommended for short distance communication so it is a bi-directional you know data transmits uh, or travel in in two directions instead of uh, we've stated before about um, the microwave here uh, uh, microwave it's all data always move in a, a unit direction but uh, here um, in infrared waves it always move in a bi-direction so the data rate or a bandwidth speed you can say that is of 100 uh, kilobyte per second to 4 megabyte per second the speed of um, these infrared technology is 100 kilobyte per second to 4 megabyte per second so it cannot penetrate to walls fine um, infrared communication is unreliable uh, for uh, especially outside your buildings uh, because of the reason and there is a strong reason that the sun rays uh, will definitely uh, distort the, your infrared signals so your infrared signals are uh, always distorted because of the sun rays so this is why it is best to use within a building uh, this is why it is best for short distance communication or within a building communication so what what are the advantages of infrared uh, waves infrared technology has done tremendous uh, you know wonders in in this in the in the world of information and technology especially in the world of networks um, you, you can use uh, you know you can use uh, your home offices, especially uh, your communication between your remote control and TV or a tape recorder. You you are using your mic, uh, you are using your remote control uh, to turn on and turn off your TV, television, or you are uh, you know mm, increasing or decreasing the volume of a channel by using mic by using um, you know remote control. You use you are turning on and off or you're switching the channels through Mac through remote control so these are all examples of infrared technology so if you are transmitting a mobile uh, you know images from mobile phone to the printer this is, this is also an example of um, 
good example of application or example of or advantages of uh, infrared technology infrared technology enables you to transmit images from your mobile phone to the printer directly uh, third one we have is it is best suitable for uh, short range communication or you can say that it is the best for uh, communication within a building and uh, it is um, simple and easy to install is very cheap you know it's not that much costly uh, no licenses are required uh, for installation of infrared you, you you're not required to have a license from authorities to use infrared technology so you can get it um, and you can use it uh, shielding is very very simple and uh, it is uh, you know the best one is that electrical signals cannot distort your um your infrared signals sun sun rays does you know do sun rays do affect uh, or distort the infrared signals but electrical signals do not uh, distort your infrared signals so apart from few uh, advantages we have some disadvantages as well um the signal can be blocked by any foreign material so that means in a simple word it signals the infrared signals will be blocked if there is a, any of object any of the wall a people a person stands between sender and receiver if there is an, if there is an object between sender and receiver fine and it so your signals will be blocked so this is why your remote control doesn't work if if there is between object between you and TV you can try it your homes and you can share your experience in the comment section uh, you can you know take a remote and ask someone to 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 stand between you and TV in a straight direction you can just uh, the press buttons it, it won't work if you you can do it and you can share your um, experiences uh, here in the comment section so the range of the transmission is very very short i said before that it is best suitable within a building so you cannot use it for a long distance communication um, you know you can try it another experiment you can try another experiment uh, you just um, take your remote control and move away uh, from your room in which your tv your tv is there so just move away uh, a bit distance and then use it your um, and then use your remote control and try to increase the volume of the channel it, it won't increase for that purpose you must have must be closed or within a range of the TV you know, I find you if you're moving away and you keep on you know pressing the button it won't work so this is a, another experiment so both two experiments uh, I expect people to do it so what you people what I expect from you people is that um, first of all uh, you know turn on your TV and have remote control in, in your hands and then place an object or a person or someone to stand between you and TV and just try to you know press the button uh, you will see that it, it won't have uh, any effect uh, on TV um, second move away from uh, just move to another room or uh, just move away from your uh, from uh, your TV and try to increase the volume so it, it, it doesn't work so both of these experiments uh, do it and share your experiences in comments section I would love to hear you guys so that's all for today if you like this video you can share it if you have any questions uh, regarding these topics or uh, any of the topic you want to hear uh, you can ask in the comment section I will definitely respond there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you can subscribe it and click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos. Thank you and have a great day.